Okay, hey everybody, this is Carl from CarlSapsy.com here with another Python tutorial. Uh, if you want to check out any of my other tutorials, head over to CarlSapsy.com where you can see my HTML and Python videos. Otherwise, you can check out my um, YouTube channel uh, where you can watch all my videos in there as well. Okay, so today we're going to be focusing on the implementation of a elif statement into a basic question and answer game. So, I'm going to make a title page, I'm going to input my age, I'm going to ask am I happy and then it's going to be like a final do you want to leave sort of thing. So I've just quickly made a title called My Friend Python. And the way we start this off is by using the variable called start and I'm going to have a letter Y for which basically just stands for yes in single inverted commas and then the second thing I'm going to do is have another variable called play and I'm going to put y again into there now the reason we put start is because we want it to start each time after we've ended it saying if you want to start again say yes and only if you say yes will it start again uh, the variable play over here was only going to really be used at the end and you'll see why so don't worry just yet. <coughs> the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a while loop and we're going to say while play is equivalent or equal to uh, y again and then with colon so now everything is going to be under this while loop category hence why we get a direct uh, indent block initially so whilst play is equal to y, we're going to have a variable called age and we're going to have an integer value of the age and it's going to have an input of, we can ask it a question saying how old are you? question mark and the speech mark and then the brackets uh, remember to close both the pairs of brackets or everything will come out wrong now since that's done we're going to print out a statement saying Oh, I didn't know that you were squiggly line zero, close the squiggly line, um, and the speech marks dot format, and then age. Now, basically, all this shows you here is this squiggly line zero and end the squiggly line, if you want, um, <coughs> acts as a placeholder. So, whatever variable we enter into here will be put into a string value will be put into a string format and the integer value we placed into here and that's where the age and that's what the dot format function does so now that that's done we can now focus on the second question saying aren't you happy so let's have a variable called happy and happy is going to have an input of uh, are you happy with being this age. Now again I've used the same squiggly, uh, squiggly line brackets as again I'm going to be using the same variable as age so whatever value that goes into here will go into here as well as into here. Once this is done we can implement the if statement so we can say if happy is equivalent to um, let's call this yes dot lower the reason we're using dot lower is in case some people put capitals it will automatically put it to lowercase letters and be accepted as yes so if that's the case then we want to print out a statement saying hooray that's good to know and then we can close this now the next thing we're going to use is an elif statement and we're going to say otherwise if it, uh, otherwise if happy is equivalent to no dot lower then we wanted to print out another statement and this statement's just pretty much going to say oh you really like the age 
view R. Then we're going to end that. And then the final one is going to be otherwise. So we're going to have an else statement. We're going to print. <coughs> Oops, we're going to print something such as no. You must either uh, in you must either put a yes or no uh, yes or no value in. Now what's going to happen here is let's say once I've printed this, nothing else is going to happen. It's going to just going to repeat itself because it's on a while loop and everything so far is true. Now if I wanted to repeat just this input are you happy with being whatever and then it's going to just repeat this entire block of code I'm just gonna copy it so uh, control C or whatever enter and then paste now over here I've got happy is equal to input are you happy with being uh, whatever age you are now if you look here as soon as I press run I'll get an indentation error so to fix this, I've got to indent this uh, once, indent this once, indent this once, and then indent this. This basically shows that everything that's going to be printed over here is purely under the else uh, under the else uh, function. Nothing else will be printed, and then only if the answer is yes. Will I then get this and will it then move on to the next question or if I put no then it would only print this and then it will move on to the next question. So once this is done we can now go back to the original and we can make a new variable called by. So I'll just we're gonna have a variable called by and by is going to be we're gonna have another input and I'm gonna say are you going to go now? and we can say if by is equivalent to yes dot lower then we can print out a statement saying no sorry then we can print out a statement saying okay then oops okay then by and that's where it's going to end now if i already put an else statement then I'm going to make it print no if I put the else statement in now uh, this is where the use of the play uh, variable comes in at the beginning so I've now used the else statement so and I want to say do you want to play this game again so I'm going to put the input as play and that's going to equal to input open brackets and I'm going to say would you like to play the game again uh, question mark and then I can just put into square brackets here y slash n slash colon and then I can end this here now basically all that ba all that's going to mean is if I were to put a y here in the actual uh, when I run this since play is equal to y and since the start value is y it's going to run the entire while loop again if i put n it's just going to hang it's going to end so now let's run this piece of code and see what happens so first of all save it and now that comes up how old are you so i'm going to put 19 oh i didn't know that you were 19 are you happy with being 19 uh, one quick thing i can just quickly change is just add a question mark rerun it so how old are you? I'm 18. Uh, oh, I don't know that you're 18. Are you happy with being 18? Yes. Hooray! Good to know. Are you going to go now? No. Would you like to play the game again? Yes. Now, now, if you notice here, it just starts. It automatically starts again. So if I were, how old are you? 18. Oh, I don't know that you're 18. Are you? Uh, are you happy with being that age? Now, obviously, if I put no. It's just going to directly move on to the next variable being by. So instead of do this, let's put maybe. Now it's going to come up saying no, you must either put a yes or no value in. 
and then it's going to ask me the same question again are you happy being 18 and once again I need to state whether I say yes or no so in this case let's put no then it's going to say oh you really should like being the age you are and are you going to go now and if I put yes okay then bye and that's really about it <coughs> um, so here you have a very basic game which effectively just shows us like over here uh, it just basically shows us how we can make a question and answer game using Python using the elif statements and then uh, when we run this piece of code we can have a selection of variables here and we can have a selection of answers and based upon the answers a follow-up question will be asked uh, thank you very much for watching I'm Carl from CarlSapT.com.